This is the best or worst podcast. And now, here are your hosts, Koji Steven Sakai and M. Martin Mapoma. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Koji. And this is Martin. And this is the best or worst podcast. This is episode number 79. 79, that's crazy. Wow, that was, that was wow. a terrible, that was a terrible whistle, Martin. Oh. I wasn't trying to whistle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought you were whistling. Okay, sorry. Our society is so focused on celebrity, we sometimes forget that regular people lead interesting lives too. Best or worst moment of your life, hosts Koji Stevens Nakai, that's me, and M. Martin Mapoma, that's... That's, that's me, the bad whistler. Are here to let your story out. We put uh, people on the spot. What are you going to hear? It could be funny. It could be poignant. It could be sad. You'll know when we know. Best or Worst is a twice-weekly podcast. On Tuesdays, we get to know them. That's today. And on Thursdays, we find out their best or worst moment. That's two days from now. And today, we are super, super, super excited to have two guests. We're lucky to have two guests. And that's two. Wow. Robin Rosencrantz and Michael Glover. How are you guys? We're hey, good. We're great. I, I thought we were famous, by the way. You were okay, saying, well, well, sometimes you talk to people that aren't famous, but clearly you're not referring to. <laughs> In our well, own not, oh, not at all. We're all not. not at all. We're all. We're all not famous here. So that's that's <laughs> yeah, <point>. exactly. <laughs> How are you guys? Well, today you get two for the price of one. Two for one. We yeah. actually are in the same room, even though our background looks fake. It's <laughs> hey, really. See, look, proof positive. Here. It's either really oh, good wow. CG or that it's, freaked me out because I, I thought you guys were in separate rooms. <laughs> no, no, really? we're here. We're here. <laughs> yeah. That's trippy. That's that's very that was that's one of our tricks. We got a lot of tricks. <laughs> well, Man. Why, why don't you guys tell us a little bit about yourselves? Okay. Well, we're called Bright Blue Gorilla. We have a new movie called 36 Husbands, which is why that's behind us. Robin, you want to tell them the story? Yeah. So Michael and I actually met in Los Angeles on the Sunset Strip. Wow. And uh, the coconut teaser. I don't know if you guys remember a long time ago. Are you old enough ago. to remember that? The coconut teaser? No. On oh, Sunset I'm, Boulevard? Well, I'm definitely old enough, but I wasn't here then. But I'm definitely oh, okay. Well. Okay. Well, Sunset and Laurel Canyon, there was a, a cool club called the Coconut Teaser. But downstairs was even cooler because it was the singer songwriter club. It was heavy hippie. metal upstairs. They then they put all the sort of hippie people downstairs and the singer songwriters downstairs. <laughs> but um, so we were both playing that night. We didn't know each other, and Michael saw a couple of my songs, and uh, then I saw a couple of his songs. But we didn't. But we didn't meet because I had to leave early. But I thought, I like this guy. I love his guitar playing. And he's pretty good looking, too. And uh, so I ah. wrote a note on you the back. You never told me that. I know. I'm telling you. <laughs> after 30 years. So I wrote a note on the back of my card. I was a massage therapist at the time because, you know, all the artists in L.A. had to have another gig, right? Yeah. So I said, hey. So I got hey. this weird massage therapist card. And it sat on my desk for two weeks before I got the courage to call her. Like, how weird is this going to be? But I finally called her. She was fairly normal. Right? And uh, <laughs> so we got together and uh, we wrote a song. We wrote a love song. That was 1990. So we've been we've been traveling for 30 years now doing right? Bright Blue Gorilla. Yeah. So, but we we wrote a love song, fell in love. And then we said, you know what? We're quitting our LA jobs. We're, we're getting out of here. We're buying one-way tickets to Europe. We sold everything we had. Took our guitars and we said, we're going to create a career. We're going to create our own life journey and not wait around LA to be discovered. And 30 years later, we're still going. And we're it's totally crazy. famous. You you all know who we are. <laughs> we do. We do. <laughs> yeah. Well, why don't you famous tell us about being famous. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the movie? What's the movie about? So 36 Husbands is our seventh feature film. We've been making these for, since about 2005. We started doing features. And what we, we do, first of all, how we do it, what we do is we tour with the movies like we used to tour with records. We go from cinema to cinema to cinema to cinema. We do shows. And we do a concert. We show the film. We do Q&A. We go to the next place. So 36 Husbands, our seventh feature, is a, basically, it's a genre mash. It is a mystical, musical, romantic, kung fu, spy comedy. That's what it is. How many genres is it, Michael? A lot. Yeah. And, and, and it's, it, I lost it, count. It stars three powerful women and a bunch of husbands. That's basically the idea. It's sort of like the monkeys meets Mrs. Peel from the 1960s show, The Avengers, not the sure. Marvel comedy. You know what I'm oh, talking sure. about? I think you guys are yeah. hip, right? Yeah, yeah, bowler hat, cane. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I you got, got it. it. You got it. That's it. Yeah, oh, yeah. That was, 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 was one of my favorite shows growing up. With Steed oh, and, cool. and Mrs. Peel. Yeah, I love yeah, that show. Like I said, movie, I'm old. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, we're, we're smart. We're just smart. That's <laughs> but the movie has a lot of music in it. And uh, we always have cameos in our movie, even though Michael writes and directs, I produce. And you guys know how much work it is to make a feature film with yep. indie filmmaking, right? You're wearing all the hats. But we always put ourselves in the movie because it's much more fun that way. So in this film, we actually have a bright blue gorilla TV show. And we're singing uh, little songs that help tell the story. And all the spies and bad guys are watching the show. And I'm not going to give away why. But just with one thing, this is not a cheap indie put, put a guy in front of a beige wall in a tiny apartment movie. We flew all around the world doing spy wow. stuff. We shot at a NASA facility in Australia. We shot at a sheep station in Australia. We shot in LA on Sunset Boulevard. In Berlin. The beach. We shot in Berlin. Wow. We shot in Frankfurt at an abandoned castle. And we did some guerrilla shooting in Paris. Had to get the Eiffel Tower in there. Ran all over Paris. <laughs> so yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's actually, it's out now. It's on everything. iTunes, Amazon everywhere. And it's getting a lot of, a lot of views, a lot of plays. So we're very happy. So far, so good. Putting it out into the world. Wow. Amazon, Amazon Video, Amazon uh, Prime, Amazon Prime, Amazon Less Than Prime, Amazon Subprime. <laughs> I say I say that because I'm intrigued, and I'm, I am literally going to watch that when I get it. first first chance I get. I've got to watch. Oh, that. wonderful! That yeah, sounds, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, what, 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 what did you guys shoot it on? We shot it on. Uh, I have a Canon C300. It was in HD. I didn't do 4K, and um, we just I I do. I do camera, I write and edit, I do all the junk. We just learned how to do a bunch of stuff over the years, just like you guys. Because we know, had to, right? In order poverty to get is a made. great teacher, you know. Yeah. Yes, well, it thing, is. Right? Yeah. And the thing was, um, you know, for us, so, you know, we've been doing music forever from when we were kids, really, and to, like we said, touring, doing concerts. But then we've always loved movies. And we, all our friends in LA were actors. Plus, we have a lot of friends around the world who are actors and really talented. So we said, you know what? Why don't we just start making our own movies? We have all the elements. We don't have the money to go to film school, but we're going to buy a camera and we're going to teach ourselves how to do it. And we know each one's going to get better, but we just dove in and made features. We never, we never even made shorts. Never made a we're, short, we're so crazy. Except the trailers or something. But. Yeah. But, but from, nice, day, from day one, right? Yeah. Nice just, thing is because we were a band, I mean, we've been touring as a band for 30 years around usually Europe, but now we're, we're in Australia quite a lot. We're in Europe and we've toured a couple of big tours in the U S like uh, big as far as, as far as 68 cities, 70 cities, but we don't like the United States touring that much because don't tell anybody, but we're actually not famous. That was a joke. <laughs> and, and so um, when we're in America, it's like, we're playing, you know, it's really hard when you're not a name here in, in America. But in yeah, Europe, there's still a thing where if you're an artist, it's like they just sort of assume that, well, if he's an artist and he's presenting, he must be something. Must so be good. it's a little bit more respect there and a little bit more fun to do do shows over there. Yeah. More support for the arts, right? And, well, yeah, I was just going to say, you know, in Europe and, you know, most other countries, they have respect for the arts. You know, if you tell someone that you're a musician, you know, overseas, they don't go, oh, or an actor, they don't automatically say, oh, what's your second job? You know, or yeah, what's what your do you day do? job? What do you you know? do? Yeah, yeah. yeah, what's your day job? They don't do that, which is, uh, <laughs> as an actor for, you know, years and years and years, that was, you know, the most annoying thing, you know? So, so Michael and Robin, what, what about, um, what did you guys, what, what do you guys like more, uh, the filmmaking gig or the music gig? Which one is the one that you, you guys, if you guys could do the rest of your lives from this point on, what would you guys do? A hybrid. It's so different. They're so different. Yeah. Each one. Yeah. The, the, the nice thing about the, the movies is the community thing. Cause we had like about 300 people making this last picture when you add up all the artists that are taking part from many different countries. And, and yeah. so it's a big group effort. So that's a different dynamic when it's touring. It's just the two yeah. of us. We are the band, the entire band, and easy, but it's different. It, 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 both, both have their special, right? Yeah. And then it's like live shows are so special you know, as a filmmaker getting to tour with our films, like Michael said, we do a little concert, we watch the movie with the audience, do a Q&A after. So as filmmakers, we watch our films hundreds of times. Wait, you actually is, sit in the screening and watch yes, it? Yes, every oh, time. We wow. do, every time. which is crazy because wow. I know a lot of filmmakers, no. like they leave the room, right? You gotta have that. a thick skin, brother. I no, dude. <laughs> I, I, my, my goal is to get as drunk as possible for the Q&A. That's the hope. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that would be right. good. That would be great for the Q&A. Really? <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know You'd that, Coach. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, because it's just uh, – because, I mean, especially, like, you know, you guys know, it's like the same five, six questions, right, no matter where you are. You must go to really boring crowds. I, I, go to, I must go to boring crowds because all, my, all the Q&As I go to are, like, the same five, ten questions. 
No, and it so, is, but you pretend that you've never heard it before. It's like, yeah, oh, it's the, the first time. How did yeah. I? But that's why no, the more no. the more drunk I am, the better the answers are. Right. Oh, that's no. that's what a, a guitar player friend of mine used to say that I always play better when I'm drunk, and I I believe he thought that. Right. But since my, you guys, this is this is a revelation. You're not going to believe it. But since Michael and I don't drink, yeah, oh. it's even more it's interesting. Even it's yes. even weirder. How but, could you be a musician for that long and not? I know, but, but I have to you tell don't... you guys, I just want to say that, you know, watching it with audience after audience, it's always fresh. It's different. And it's oh. interesting because you're always like, are they going to laugh at that joke? And are they going to get it? And I'm always squeezing Michael's hand when they get it. And it's it's like watching it for the first time. And I don't know. It's strange. But even though I know all the jokes, when I hear the audience laughing, I laugh. Yeah, it's like, and it, be it's and like it becomes hearing it fresh. for the first time. Yeah, yeah. There's and and we also learn. Like this is the way we learn filmmaking by watching hundreds of times, seeing what works, what doesn't work, and what was cool with the early films. Since Michael's also an editor, is he would edit as we went along. So audience number one would not see the same oh, that's cool. yeah. film yeah, as that, audience that, 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 ten. Like, it's like a living. Right? It's a living, breathing uh, test test run so test screening. The like first, screening, for the yeah. first several weeks i'm making adjustments of you know giving more of a pause after the laugh to see if they laugh longer all that kind of stuff and then i finally say okay this is the this is the cut we're good and then before we get to itunes and stuff we've already seen it with probably 120 audiences or something wow well, that's crazy so you guys are so do you guys, you guys don't drink at all, which is you know as musicians. No, you know now, you know did why? You ever, did you did you ever drink or you just never? Yes, really was absolutely. Drink? No, no, we were both in punk bands, you know. And I, as a t I was a teenage like rock star guy when I was thirteen. I was in a pretty popular band, and we were already touring, and touring with the Ramones. In fact, we toured with them quite a bit, and and other. Oh, there's bands. no way you were and, not drinking. Yeah, I was. Then he was. But then so I that's also that's wanted to make it. Yeah. I wanted to make it big, and I realized, you know, we're doing about six shows a week, and when I'm drinking Jack Daniels every night before the show, and I'm going, what am I going to be like in ten years? You know, so I thought it, it just occurred to me: if you want to be successful, stop. So I just stopped. The other guys didn't, and a couple, one of them is no longer with us. And uh, for actually related reasons, right? But but it, uh, it happened but naturally. It was, a good, it was a good decision for me. You and know? I mean, I was never a big drinker, you know, high school, all that stuff, right? Experimenting, but yeah. at some at some point, I just didn't want it naturally. I I think part of it too, you know, Michael and I, we meditate twice a day. We meditate a lot. We're that trying helps. to awaken yeah. our brain cells, <laughs> and alcohol yeah, and drugs yeah. kill the brain cells. That's why you feel better, right? So yeah, yep, big I, want, time. I want to be awake. I want to be awake to just enjoy life, but also to create. And you know, it sounds hippy trippy silly, but I'm like high on life. You yeah, know, man. I love what I do. I'm grateful. You know, it's it's just uh, getting to be with all these people around the world to create, being with all these audiences and interacting. I get enough energy, and um, yeah, I just I just want to stay awake. Yeah, it's nice. That's wow. cool. That's, that. that's cool. Wow, that's I, cool. I, I feel the I feel the positive energy out of you guys. You guys are so <laughs> happy and uplifting. It's, I know. I, I feel like <laughs> well, I need to. Right. I feel like I need to. Oh, I don't drink. Have a anymore, drink, but I don't drink anymore. But uh, but maybe I should meditate more. <laughs> yeah, you don't drink anymore. No, I highly recommend that because it's an interesting thing. People tend to think of it as just like a mindfulness these days, or you know, that's a, a lot of friends of ours do TM and so on, and that that's fine and it works up to a point. Yeah. But then there's something beyond that that's really interesting. When you keep going deeper, yeah. if you can get to the point where basically your body is shut down, you're kind of, the body is asleep, but you are not. That's an interesting thing. And when you're in and you're up here, you're really in the higher, you're not thinking, but you're extremely aware. Very interesting things start to start to come. Does it inspire you guys as music and movies? Yeah. It really everything. does. Yeah. yeah. We don't write. Well, actually there is meditation in this new movie. Well, in 36 so, Husbands, we, sort we of actually. As a jo in a jokey way. Yeah, She's got mystical powers, the, one of the spies. We explore meditation a little bit. Yeah, and some mystical powers and thirty six husbands. So I want our movies to, to be. <laughs> the, I want our movies to be fun, you know, and not yeah. heavy or serious. They're they're lighthearted. The, 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 one thing we've noticed the whole time we've been touring, is that we the effect that we have because we're we're our songs are fairly upbeat. They're fairly fun. We have and some our show, and we're kind of like this all the time, you know. So. <laughs> 
when people we make people sing at our shows. Yeah, when they're people like, start, like, arms yeah, are crossed. They they're start like, I'm not going to sing. They start the night. They're like really like frowny, like the frowny post-it note you have on your screen. <laughs> but then by the end, they're like the Muppets. You know, they're all they're really they're elevated. And we it's find fun. we wanted our movies to do the same thing. And we've gotten a lot of comments about that, especially during the pandemic. People that rented the film because it looked like it wasn't as dark as a lot of the stuff out there. And oh, it looks like we just peeled away the 36 husband. Oh, no. Wow. Far out, man. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <It's tripping. laughs> Behind the scenes. That. Uh, it's a trip. Tri <laughs> tripping hard. Anyway, right I'm going to hang that up. It's the, first, it's the first time we actually tried it background was today. So it's, it's kind of fun. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But, but it was interesting because the whole meditation thing. So, you know, for 36 husbands, we traveled with four main actors from Europe. One was from Ireland, one from Italy, two from Germany. And we said to these actors. Sounds like a joke. You know. An Italian. <laughs> right. Walked an Italian, an Irishman, and two Germans. Yeah. Went on a film shoot. But we said to the actors, we said, listen, you, you guys, we're going to travel the world for five months together. We're going to, you know, live together, eat together, build props together, location scout together. We're going to be one big family. And we said, when you guys aren't on camera, you're going to be crew. We, we made this movie in a little different way. But, but also, Mike, Michael can tell you more about that. But I just want to say that we also told them, listen, you know, Michael and I meditate twice a day. And these actors were a little interested in meditation. And we said, if you guys are into, like, learning some meditation techniques, we can meditate together as we travel the world and make the movie. And it's going to harmonize us on set and just help our creativity. And they were totally into it. It did something. It was really helped. It really, it, and in the morning that we were doing like this energy work, something like Tai Chi, Qigong, and then we would meditate and then work. And, it, and at the end of the day, we'd do it again. And it really just like, we, we, you know, we've done seven films and the, the, most of them are, they're all pretty harmonious because it's all volunteers having fun sort of. Mm -hmm. But this one was was a little bit higher vibe and a little bit more efficient. It was really interesting. It was more fun. More magic sort of happened. It was nice. No, it's cool. I, wow. I should, I should get great people story. to meditate on my set, but it's usually crazy. a lot of people are doing it now. So it's not yeah. as weird as it used to be. You know, the, the word meditation is not as like, what is that? You know, right. But when we were in great. Berlin, yeah. um, we had a lot of uh, local actors and crew and artists helping on set. And some of them were also really young students on set for the first time. And they had, you know, barely heard of meditation. But we in, on, in Berlin, we sat in a big circle and just a really short, like, five-minute meditation. We actually started the day that way. And they really got into it. I mean, yeah. some of them were sitting with their arms crossed, like, oh, what is this? This is weird. But then by the end, they got into it. Yeah. And, and yeah. there was just such harmony. And we worked really hard. I mean, you guys know it, especially sure. – on an indie set, you know, you're you're burning the candle at both ends. Yeah, yeah, you really and are. Now, now it's a COVID. Now it's a COVID test. Right. <laughs> on the more first thing you do, crazy. In the morning, you stand in line, really? you get your COVID test. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. The isn't it amazing? Hopefully, we'll get through this quick. But the COVID production stuff is a lot harder to work with a mask on for eight, ten hours. That's a trip oh, and a half. You're not only a mask; you have to wear you have to wear gloves a headache, and a, um, right? and a uh, shield, depending on what yeah. level of set you are. So really, it's like a, it, it's 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 crazy. And, and as a producer, I couldn't even go on set because I'm not part of that crew that goes into. You, are you A, B, or C? I, I would be in B category. You're B category. Yeah, I'd be in you, B you category. know what that stuff reminds me of? Do you remember wow. the Andromeda Strain? Yes. Yeah, Where they go yeah. down the levels, you know, level three, you know, level four, we remove your skin. You know, yeah, yeah well, it's funny because I mean, we had we had a compliance officer who would say things like, "You can't come here," and I'm like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> <laughs> even though i'm like i'm like i'm the producer you know i should be able to go anywhere i want but now I can be here. wow that, yeah. that, that was also what's different too because sag was actually coming to set they actually really? came to set multiple times because they're checking on covid so they're very very strict in ways that usually they weren't but but thank you guys so much for coming on um, oh yeah thank you. it was awesome to find out it, it was awesome to find out about the movie and find out a little bit about you guys and i can't wait to watch the movie i haven't watched the movie yet but i'm going to definitely i'm going to rent it oh me too me I also too want to listen awesome. to your music i'm very curious about your music thanks but, um, guys and thank you martin for coming on as well and everybody no, please, of course 
please rate, review, subscribe to this podcast. That's how we're going to, that's how we keep moving forward. And obviously this is a labor of love. So this is an opportunity for all of us to find out more and more stories. And in two days, they're going to be wearing the same clothes, but in two days, I'll be wearing the same clothes. <laughs> we only have one set of clothes. Yeah, you know, we, we only have one set of on clothes. <laughs> it's on we two just days. Change we're towns. Gonna, <laughs> we're going to ask them about their best or worst moment. And I can't wait to find out what that's going to be. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, me too. Bye, guys. Okay, Thanks. Bye. Ciao.